slightly shorter press conference today with Eager playing first tomorrow, so we'll start with questions from who would like to start today. Yep, we'll come down to the front. Uh, could you describe the match? Could you compare the Daniel Collins you faced today to the one you faced earlier this year when you, you beat her, I think, in Doha? Can you compare her, her, her match today? I didn't really remember a lot about that match in Doha because it was really windy, so, uh, uh, well, I didn't want to kind of, there wasn't a lot that I could learn from that match, I guess. Uh, I felt good in Doha, I don't know. I felt like she, she couldn't cope with the wind. Um, as well as I did. So today it wasn't the case. So uh, I knew what I have to do. And for sure, you know, um, being intense is like the most important thing. And uh, she's playing really fast. So sometimes it's hard to do that. But I'm happy that in the third set I could even increase the level and just play really powerful and fast. Yeah, I saw a quote after you lost her at the Aussie Open where you said that she hit the fastest balls you'd ever seen. Um, how do you think you've been able to cope with that? I know maybe you can't take away, take away much from last match, but you won again tonight. So. Well, yeah, I was trying to open. Was um, it was a yeah weird experience because um, I thought already I can kind of um, uh, like overcome these situations when the opponent is playing really fast, but she really like hit it 100% and like risking a lot, but it was mostly in, you know. And today I knew that she can do this again because I already experienced that in Australian Open. Uh, but so I wanted to be proactive and be um, just really intense to for her to feel the pressure as well. The last two matches has been quite long. Where's your energy level right now? It's still high. Uh, so I wouldn't worry about that for sure. Tomorrow is going to be a little bit tougher since we have uh, not a lot of time to recover, but uh, physically I've been really well prepared and I've never had a situation in my life where I kind of, um, after two longer matches when I didn't have energy. I think actually the hardest tournament in terms of that was the Australian Open uh, last year. Last year, Yeah, so um, did, no, at this tournament I feel good, so it's fine. Congrats on your win. Um, Thank you. I noticed that your ball toss, let's say it, it was not perfect today, the, your ball toss. And I was, I was thinking, I was curious, what, what, is, your, what is your thought pro process here? When do you cancel the service motion? And when you think about it, it can be a brave thing to, to actually stop and regroup and... Well, yeah. honestly, it's pretty similar uh, to earlier matches. I just stop the movement more often because I realized that I sometimes played um, I sometimes served from the bad toss, which really doesn't make sense. So um, I hope it's not going to be annoying for the fans and <laughs> uh, the referee <laughs> as well. But um, yeah, well, uh, it's not perfect, but um, but I don't see a point of serving when when it's bad, and I can really repeat it, and that's something that only I have you know influence on. So uh, I'll work on it. And um, today I served well, so I guess it worked. Can you say a couple of things about your next opponent? Oh, well, Jessie, we faced each other you know, plenty of times. Um, she's really consistent and one of the best players for the last couple of seasons. So um, it's not going to be easy for sure. Um, but yeah, well, I'm not going to tell you the tactics. So uh, I'll just say that I'll give my best. And um, I hope it's going to be a nice match. Um, after the first set, you, uh, you took a break and left with your notebook. And I was curious as to what's in that notebook that you needed after winning a set 6-3. Well, just kind of remind myself um, the key things that I I focused on when I went on court, you know, to kind of keep the same um, keep the same things that worked before the second set, you know, and to keep doing that, you know. Um, but nothing, nothing special, honestly. It's just like during the match. Like many thoughts can come, and uh, I always want to kind of start the same way if I want to set. Last two questions. Hey. Um, so I have um, a small question, but what is your favorite way or the best way that you like to prepare before a match? Oh, I have the same routine. Um, mostly I start like 20 minutes before, and I have a pretty intense warm up. Um, with my headphones on, so I have this uh, rock and roll playlist that I listen to, and um, 
and I go to the toilet and I go on, to on court. <laughs> and last question. Um, yeah, just wondering when Colin started to build some momentum during the second set, what was going through your head? Does it seem like, you know, maybe just for a little bit that she might turn the tide? Well, for sure, uh, the momentum changed a little bit. I knew that I can't uh, really afford to, like, you know, stop my hand. So I really wanted to play, to swing it and just not, I, I on this tournament, I try to um, not, like, overanalyze everything. I have easy solutions and easy things that I need to do to play better. So um, I just thought what uh, what I need to change. For sure, it's not easy to do that uh, when it's, like, I don't know, four or five or something. But I knew that I always have a kind of, I have, I'm going to have a chance to kind of regroup and to play better tennis in third set. So um, I just played um, and and I made some mistakes, obviously. But in the third, um, I knew what I have to change. Thank you very much. Thank you.